Hi friends, in the previous video of this series, we have seen what is Arduino, how to program it and we have also made our first basic project with Arduino which was an LED blinker. If you haven't seen that video, you can find its link on the top of the screen and in the description below. So in this video, we are going to talk about digital output and we also gonna make some example project using Arduino pins as digital output. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech, do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. In the previous video, we have made an LED blinking project and upload the example blink code to the Arduino. So let's have a look at this code and see how it works. The first command of this program is in the setup function. This command is pin mode with M capital. And in the parentheses, there are two parameters. The first parameter is Arduino pin number, which we want to set as output or input. And the second parameter is the mode in which we want to set our pin. It can be input or output. So in the first parameter, the LED built-in is written in capital letters. Every Arduino board has a built-in LED which is mostly connected to pin D13 of Arduino. So LED built-in represent pin D13. In the second parameter, output is written. So this command is setting pin D13 of Arduino as output. At the end of the command, a semicolon is written which tells the compiler that the command ends here. In Arduino programming, we write semicolon at the end of every command. In the loop function, the first command is digital write with W capital. And in the parentheses, the first parameter is LED built-in which represents pin D13. And the second parameter is high written in capital letters. So this command will set pin D13 to high. We have connected LED on pin D13. So when this command is executed, the LED turns on. The next command is delay and in the parentheses, thousand is written. This command will pause the operation for thousand milliseconds. The number in the parentheses represents milliseconds. The next command is again digital write, but the second parameter in this command is low written in capital letters. This command will set the pin D13 of Arduino to low and LED will turn off. The next command is delay for thousand milliseconds. So this program will blink the LED. We can change the speed of LED blinking by changing the value of the delay. These are the different blinking speed with different delay values. We can also change the LED pin by changing the pin number. Let's connect the LED to pin D2 of Arduino and change the pin number in the program. So in the pin mode and digital write command, the first parameter would be 2. Let's upload the code to the Arduino and test it. Now let's make another example program. In this example program, we will blink two LEDs one by one. So let's connect the LEDs to pin D2 and D3 of Arduino. Now let's have a look at the program. In this setup function, we set pin D2 and D3 as output by using pin mode command. In the loop function, first we set pin to high and then there is a thousand millisecond delay, which is equal to one second delay. Then we set pin D2 to low, then there is another 1 second delay, then pin 3 goes high and there is a 1 second delay, then pin 3 goes low and lastly there is another 1 second delay. So in the whole function, first one LED turns on for 1 second, 
then it goes off and after one second the second LED turns on for one second then it goes off and after one second the whole sequence repeat again and again. Let's upload the code and see the result. Now as you can see, we can control LEDs with Arduino, but sometimes we need to control different devices with Arduino. Those devices can be lights, motors and many other devices. Arduino alone cannot control these devices because these devices consume more power or they run with higher voltage that Arduino cannot provide. So to control such devices, we can use a relay with Arduino. So first we connect a 5 volt relay to breadboard and connect its one coil pin to positive supply. Now connect an NPN transistor to breadboard which is in our case is BC547 transistor and connect its emitter which is its pin 3 to ground and its collector which is its pin 1 to second coil pin of the relay. Now connect a diode to coil pins of the relay. The cathode of diode which is its negative pin will be connected to positive supply and its anode will be connected to the collector of transistor. Now connect a 10k resistor to breadboard and connect its one pin to pin D2 of Arduino and its other pin to base of transistor which is the pin 2 of transistor. Now we can control higher voltage or higher power devices with Arduino. Let's connect a lamp with the relay. Let's upload this blink code to Arduino. So that's it for today. I hope you have learned something from this video. More videos like that are coming soon. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.